do that. All right, folks. A good friend Donald is at it again. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> do we do we have a picture of the retweet so we can show it so they know what we're talking about? So some people were musing on Twitter that the only eclipse they wanted to see was Barack eclipsing Donald. Yeah. However, there is this one that was going around. This meme that was going around it's that Trump so decided. Late. Yeah. It's Trump so decided. late. Well, Trump decided he was going to retweet it. Problem is that. It was originally tweeted by a gentleman named Jerry Travone, who had previously tweeted an anti-Semitic anti tweet. Um, and so the president of the United States kind of tweeting something from somebody who has a problem Especially with... Especially in the situation that he's already in. Which Look one at this them? smart man right Which one here. Of them? <laughs> Look at this. It yeah, so but it's not the first time he's done it. So he's, 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 the um, CNN, remember the one with the, 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 um, the locomotive running over the CNN reporter? Not, he's Nothing retweeted several tweets from, from folks who are anti-Semitic and who made anti-Semitic statements. Oh, so I don't know when he will ever stop, but um, this is just the latest in a series of faux pas. That what? Faux pas? That's Fox. what you call them? I can't call him what I want to call him. On this okay, show. that's true. Um, Fox passes. <laughs> I can't imagine to. how he's still in the position of president. Of the Cause most they have to go through the system proper before they can impeach him. Yeah, no, or no, before no, anything can one. happen. Mr. Mola, take too long. No, he's going through. He's not going. Simon is not going to reveal his hand step by step. He's going to sweep properly and make sure the oil is well clean, and then. He will reveal, and we'll know exactly. And what's in going the on. meantime, when the world is watching the demise of the United States, it's not going to win, man. It's a mash up, but it's not going to win. <laughs> that was just meant to systematic, demise. systematic. It won't happen all at one time, and what's, hopefully, um, what? Hopefully, what? Hopefully, we live to tell the tale. No, the Dems are fighting, and some Republicans are speaking out. So let's see what happens. What's next, man? And don't press the nukes and blow up the whole world. Um, back home, the JUTC. JUTC. Students in Clarendon, good for you. Um, you're expected to benefit from the services of the JUTC, state run Jamaican Urban Transit Company, starting this school year. What's going to happen is there's a move between the Ministry of Transport and Mining um, six buses, two each on the following routes Maypen to Old Harbour, Maypen to Lionel Town, and Maypen to Tollgate which is good news Question. for the students in Clarendon. Yes, ma'am? Mimis, uh, what you're trying to tell me is that prior to now, these routes had no JUTC buses? There are parts of the island that are without yes, transportation yes, yes. from the government. Oh, yes, 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 yes. There's not enough buses. Let's, let's, let's put that there on They're the table. Enough. No, 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 that's been the case for a long time. Um, Cecil Tom said the project's aim is to improve access to a reliable bus service for rural commuters. Service is necessary because people in the rural areas are paying much more than those in urban areas for transportation. So we want to make the JUTC bus more accessible to people in the rural areas, Tom's told the observer. Um, so since it started, the JUTC has provided service to the KMTR, which is the Kingston Metropolitan Transport Region, which covers Kingston, St. Andrew, St. Catherine, Portmore, Spanish Town, and St. Thomas. Gotcha. So that's really it. I look um, it needs to be a little better than that. I always saw the news stories about, you know, people having to take five taxis and walk three miles and uh, to be quite honest, it's kind of weird that we're in this modern time and we don't have a well, bus system. That resources are an issue, yeah. so hopefully we can find. Maypen is a good, is a good um, step in the right direction. JUTC also owns Montego Bay's Metro Bus Company, which services the parishes of St. James, Hanover and Trelawney. So Maypen, good on you for the new school year. Um, I wish you all the best as that service rolls out. And this good on you, one. JUTC. This yes, one seems to be pretty good. The ratio of teacher to pupils in the school, teachers to pupils, usually is kind of funky. You have one teacher and 40 odd students sometimes, and the government is working to achieve a ratio of 1 to 25, mm -hmm. says the minister. And that's amazing. Senator Rural Reed says the government is working on a revised policy to establish that ratio. Uh, it says for the technical areas, what are the technical areas, Sim? 
<laughs> the technical errors will have a ratio of 1 to 20. Math, I'm assuming that's... The more STEM, right. the more STEM subjects. Mm, precisely. More, um, precisely. Yeah, he demonstrated that scientific. students are more likely to learn when personalized attention Absolutely. is given. And, and that, that's logical. If one you have more time good. to give to each student, then I they will when I was in school, I was in a classroom. Better. I had to be in a classroom with at least 50 kids. 50? I was at St. George's Girls Primary. On well, Duke's, on that's not Duke unheard Street. of, you know. Yeah, primary we had school. a huge, so it was a huge area upstairs, and we had blackboards that separated the classrooms. Yeah. Um, and that's still the case. Yeah, it was tough. Yeah.